Welcome back. Welcome back to another recap video. Monday Night Raw and Raw Reunion. Oh yeah, we got some good old favorites and classic uh, superstars showing up. Yeah. But to start us off was John Cena. Boom, boom, boom. John Cena sucks because he was just yeah. normal ass John Cena, not thugonomics John Cena. And but then again, there's also a third form of John Cena. Um, Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Well, yeah. But we got plain normal Cena. Um. And he's talking, he's uh, shouting, he's cheering all the fans up. Then the Usos show up. Yeah. And then he's like, they came to see that doctor. Who's this? And then he comes out and he starts rapping to him. And then Rashiki uh, comes out. Rashiki. Um. And then <laughs> he's like, "You better come back in this ring." And then they're about to do the dance, and then they get interrupted by the revival and the one Dudley boy. Devon. So, so it doesn't really count as the Dudley boys, because where's the other one? I think yeah. he he quit. He retired fully, so he be proper. So, so, so you got Revival with Devon Dudley, and the Usos with their their dad in hit their corner. And we had Booker T on announce table. Uh, uh, announce table. Yep. So it's what the Revival and De uh, with Devon in the uh, on the outside, and we had the Usos with Rikishi on the outside. Yep. Um, the Usos end up beating the Revival. Um, obviously. The one who so super kicked Dawson, and then he tagged in uh, his his brother, and then he super and the um, super kicked Dash, so he uh, wouldn't um wouldn't uh, stop the pin. Then the one frog splash for the win. Yay! Still no dance. No. That's and then there was a backstage with Alicia Fox. Dean Brooke, Caitlin, Tori Wilson, and Santino. Yeah, Santino talking about the snake, which is a double and tundra, tundra for his pee pee. And then Drew McIntyre comes and stares and shakes his head and then just walks away. Because he's, he, he's, he's mad about last week with Cedric Alexander. No, he's more mad because Santino is getting more pop, he's getting all the ladies. And no one wants, uh, no one wants a psychopath. And then Truth and Carmelo are having an interview, and then all of a sudden Drake's wife comes along, and then saying, "Oh, true, to ruin my life, you ruined my wedding." But, but before that, they were showing clips of our Truth at Comic Con, and he's dressed up like a penguin, and he almost got pinned by the hurricane, and then Drake Maverick shows up, uh, shows up and tries to pin him there. Saying Drake's wife's like you ruined it, blah blah blah. Carmella got in her face, and um. Drake Maverick comes out of nowhere and actually takes back the title. Yeah, and then Godfather shows up, and that's pretty much it. Yep. And then um, ends up being it was supposed to be Drew McIntyre for Cedric Alexander, but didn't even happen because with Cedric Alexander's coming out, Drew McIntyre just tacks him all over the place. Outside the, outside the ring, he ends up doing an Alabama Slam. Alabama Slam? I think that was called Alabama Slam outside on the picnic one or something. Wait, was that McIntyre that did it? Yep. But he's the Sky Psychopath. How can he do an Alabama Slam? He's not from Alabama! That's and then, okay. Let's see. Drake Mac. Uh, what was it? And Jake Maverick. He was getting his suitcase ready. He was and it's full of dirt and worms. And dirt the boogeyman and worms. shows up. You know what that means boogeyman. And he goes, "Come on, I get you." And then other lights came out. Mac no, McIntyre trips on the floor. He Ma hurts himself. Not McIntyre. No. Drake. Whatever. Whatever the little the little horn swaggle wanna be. He falls over. And Pat Patterson steps on him and pins him. So now he's the champion. Yep. And 
then you see Christian coming out to go on the announce table so he can watch the next match. The Viking Raiders against Hawkins and Ryder. Yeah. And the Haw Viking Raiders actually when They actually had a couple, they had quite a fight, but it, you know. But he, Avar, he did a suicide dive and then we put him back in the ring and they did the Viking, Viking experience. On Hawkins, obviously. And then there was a backstage thing with Mike Niles and Maria with Eric Bischoff and Eve. And then, because Maria's like, what are you doing? And then Mike's like, oh, it's okay, I'll talk to Eve and whatever. And then Eric. And then, and then she's just pretty much saying, you want me to shrink my heart? And blah, blah, blah. And I'm um, saying, I'm gonna, I'm the pretty much the breadwinner in this, gonna be in this family. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so basically she's, she's, um, uh, me, um, uh, what is it called? Um, he's making his wee wee small and showing that she has a bigger wee wee than him. And then, uh, Ron Simmons does that the damn thing. But he used Jimmy Hart's, um, microphone. Is it called a microphone or is it one of those, um, megaphone, microphone, whatever, megaphone? And then, then all of a sudden goes to Pat Patterson on the floor and you see Jared Briscoe shouting, Woohoo, yeah, I'm a champ! And then they see Kelly Kelly and Kelly goes, Oh yeah, that's nice! And she's like knees to him and then says, Come on, ref! And she pins and she's toy for champion running away. So that means women can take that belt now. Yep. So there you go, Ashley. There's a title that girls can win, uh, could uh, go after. She, they could fight the boys. They just gotta be sneaky. And not fight them directly. And then you got some old Joe outside. He's pretty much talking. Talking trash and Roman Reigns shows up. Yeah, because he was talking about the Usos and Rikishi. And that's Roman Reigns' family. And it's funny because both of them are um, Samoans. Yeah. And pretty much uh, Reigns is saying... He's pretty much... Oh, same. I know they were fighting back and forth outside the ring, blah, blah, blah. And it ends up becoming an official match. Because he's like, I know he's like, well, we all know um, all Samoans are not cowards. And, and that's when Joe goes, oh, you want, you want a match? And you goes, yes, sir. Sure. Fine. Let's go. That ends up being the match. Roman Reigns actually wins. With a spear. Yeah, he won a spear because Joe, Joe had Reigns in the clutch and then he got out of it and while he was recovering, uh, Reigns ran to the rope and speared him. That was easy, man. And then, ends up being Ms. TV, but Rollins is the guest. And Rollins, they show in how Rollins got here while, when he's going against the Brock Lesnar for the belt. And then, he called him a Godzilla bastard. <laughs> what? Uh, wait. Was he calling, um, Brock Lesnar a Godzilla bastard? Or was he calling, um, Paul Heyman a Godzilla bastard? Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar's no Godzilla. He's more armored titan than Godzilla. But, he was like, he's not no Brock wannabe. Brock is a Seth wannabe. And then Paul Heyman comes out, well, he's on the screen first, and then... He's talking, laughing in his mouth about Brock Lesnar, and then he comes out, and he's talking outside, and Seth Rollins is like, you got five seconds, or I'm going to stomp your head down. No, because Paul Heyman was saying, Seth, why are you bitching when um, you pulled the same move to Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 31 with the money in the bank? So Brock returned the favor. Yeah, but it took Lesnar four years to do it. And then Paul Heyman just runs to the back. Yeah. And it's just pretty much saying, um... That he... Will win the title of SummerSlam. And... He's not like Brock Lesnar. He, um... Train. He, he trains. And he's he trains and he's a oh, and he's a fighting champion. Then the then the club shows up, right? No. Are you sure? Because no. I'm looking at your thing and it says AJ Styles. 
right there. The phenomenal AJ. He said to go against AJ Styles and burn it down. Yeah, AJ Styles, but the club actually does show up. No, they did not. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. My brain is telling me that they did show up. No, it was on Miss TV. They did not show up. And Sami Zayn is um in the back, and he's like, "Why don't you just tell all these uh oldies just to go home?" And then Rey Mysterio says, "Dude." Got respect, and Zane said. I don't respect you. No. And the triangle I... gets in the middle, and he brings it. When I was GM, we deal with it in the ring. So that's end up a match. Yep. And then it was another backstage thing with Kelly Kelly, celebrating with Candice, and Melina and Naomi, and then. Melina had a ref. She had a ref shirt. Yep. And then, so she's the ref. She made Candice pins. Kelly, she's a champ, and then all of a sudden you see Alonzo Blaze. She pins her, and now she's the champ. And she's in a sleeper hold, and makes her tap. And, yep, she's like, yep! Yeah. But she says, I'm not going to be champ for long, and then she disappears. And Jonathan Coachman goes on down to table for the Rey Mysterio versus Sami Zayn match. Rey wins. 619. Uh, yeah. It was like he was about to do the 619, and Zayn got out of the way, about to walk away, and then RVD, Sergeant Slaughter, Kurt Angle, and Hurricane. Oh, Sergeant Slaughter. Basically, the uh, the 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 first uh, the, the first big chin per, uh, big chin person before Thanos. All you gotta do is just paint uh, paint him purple. There you go. And then he got back in the ring. He ended up getting into six one nine move, and then the frog splash for the win. Oh yeah, the frog splash was for Eddie. Yeah. Alondra Blaze. She was gonna throw the title in the garbage. I applaud Alondra Blaze. I would be happy. Just get that that done and over with. And then he got interrupted by the million dollar man. And then he's getting money out and gives the he money. He actually pay it. He pays and she, for the okay. belt. Takes money and gives him the title. So he's the champ now. The 24 championship. But he never pinned her. If that was the case... Then why doesn't they, um, if Rollins and Becky use all the money they made and then just pay Brock Lesnar to get the belt? I don't know. There you go. If that was that easy, then there you go. Every belt could be win by the prop, by the solution of money. I don't know. That just, that just feels, well, I know it's a joke and I know it's funny, but you know what I'm coming for, right? Yeah. I don't know. It just makes my brain hurt. The AJ Styles Seth Rollins match. Yep, and then Jerry Lawyer's on the announce table for that match. Hail to the King, Jerry Lawler. And then in the match, you see DX coming out because they back up Seth Rollins. Well, who in DX showed up? Triple H and Shawn Michaels. Oh, yeah. And they stand there staring at the club because, um, when Gals and Anderson didn't show up? Uh, Anderson. Interrupt, distracted Rollins, making uh, Styles hit, hit hit Rollins outside, landing on the floor, and they were about to attack him. And that's how the X came out. But, and then they're back to action. Um, ends up being a DQ. Rollins wins because An Anderson pulled Rollins' leg. Then they attack them. Then the DX comes in the ring. Then we get the rest of DX. That's Road Dog. Billy Gunn. No Billy Gunn. Wait, no Billy Gunn. But we got um, X Pac, Scott Hall, and Kevin Ash. With China and Spirit. Yeah. And then while they're coming out, they're in the ring, and then he goes, "You better get stepping quick." And then Rollins says, if "You're not down with that. You got two words for you. Suck it." Yep. And just see in the back, Mark Henry and Mick Foley talking backstage. Ooh, yes, and Mark Henry and Mick. Mark, Mark Henry got full on um, grays in his beard. McFoley only has a little bit, so I want to see something for Christmas. We got two Santa Clauses. We got van we got vanilla McFoley claws, and then we have sexual chocolate Mark Henry claws. Oh boy! That would be funny, cause look at it. We got McFoley, but then again. Mark Henry, who's got the um the big round b uh, body like, uh, uh, I feel stupid. I feel stupid. 
And then ends up being um Million Dollar Man million in dollar the limousine. Man. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he's all happy because he got the time for champion. He goes in the limo. All of a sudden, you hear ruckus in the limo, and then out comes Drake Maverick with a reference with the title. Yep. So he got that title now. I'm back. Not really, because then uh, our truth comes out, pins him. Now our truth the ti- uh, has the title. Later on. No. Well, yeah. we're gonna say it right there. We're gonna say it. We're gonna we're gonna say it. I already said well, it. Well, Mick Foley is out talking, and then Drake and Superstars run through the arena, out back out to the backstage, and Mick says, "I'm gonna get my hand on that title before the night is out." And he um he was asked to pick his favorite show, um, and it's him him winning the title, and the lights go out. And the fiend Bray Wyatt shows up and gives him the manable claw. Yep. And then you get the moment of bliss with the guest of Becky Lynch. Yeah, and they're talking about the, oh, the rivalry between her and Natalia. Yeah, because automatically now Natalia came out. And they're pretty much gonna saying they're going to embarrass each other. And then they fight, and the refs try to split them apart. Of, so. cor- of course. I hope that Natty wins. Natty is, uh, is um, an experienced wrestler. And they're holding her back. They, she got the title a couple of times, but not as much as everybody else, like Charlotte Flair and everybody. Natty should be whooping ass. Yep. If you're saying experience outweighs um, talent and all that stuff, then Natty should be winning. Yep. And then Troop got the title back. He hopped in the limo. And... Not only did he get the title, but he also got Drake Maverick's wife and a limousine. Yeah. Drake's like, my baby, my baby, my wife, my wife, I didn't cut. Well, here you go, Maverick. Now Archer's going to consummate your marriage. You didn't do it. No. And then Braun Strowman, in a quick little local talent, he gets the boat and goes, this ain't going to last long. No, he says, don't blink. And then he just ends it. Yeah, he, did. he threw him twice across the ring, big boot, and then slam pin. Really? You didn't have no other superstar come out? Nope. No Mark Henry? No Big Show? No. Not even Great Khali? No. Just some nobody local talent that just only got a few seconds and you probably got $500? No, it's actually, isn't it only 5000 No, 500 There's no way they're going to give you $5,000 just to show No, I think it's $1,000. There's no way. I mean, $1,000 if you actually lasted five minutes. And then the ending of Raw was the toast to Monday Night Raw. Ric Flair comes out. And everybody. And then all the old time are all on the lineup and stage. So the first person to actually uh, come out to actually toast Ric Flair is Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Hogan. And he goes, thank us a million times. Then we get the main star, and that's... Stone Cold Steve Austin. Of course, when he has Stone Cold, he had the beers. And he was actually saying how, the for uh, in his entire career, he's never once talked with uh, Hulk Hogan. So they actually did a podcast together, and then they were talking and stuff. And then he had, uh, he was talking with Ric Flair, and they had some beers and all that stuff. And then Rick, and then. Uh, Talky, talky, talky. Stone Cold opens beers. Everybody's in the ring. He starts chuggling it down, and then they play his they play his music like it was like the Oscars, saying, "Okay, we gotta wrap it up," because yeah, because he was running out of time. Yeah, it's just, it was it was it was awesome with Stone Cold. Yeah, and then after that was um was a sneak peek. Even though it was like a whole oh. episode. Well, technically, it does count. Like, usually, with Rick and Morty, they always play one of the episodes early before the uh, everybody, every, uh, the, uh, the yeah. actual thing. Yeah. And then after that, then they replay Raw. Yeah, again. They, did, they did a replay of it. So. We didn't see it, but. Do you think they shortened it? No. Three hours into, like, an hour? But. Yeah, so how, how did you like this Raw review? Did you like it? I thought it was okay and awesome. Mm. No, it would have been funny. But anyway. With Paul Heyman coming out. But anyway. Make sure you like. Comment. Subscribe. We'll 
see you next time. Bye. Bye.